Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A local Air Force veteran is credited with pulling off a feat many did not think was possible. Kansans Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer tell his story in this week's Veteran Salute. John Steinbacher grew up in a rural Pennsylvania county, an area known for its aviation history. After seeing some of his classmates drafted into the Army during Vietnam, some never to return, Steinbacher decided to join the Air Force in November 1968. I've always liked airplanes, and I was always a mechanical guy with my hands. Working in field maintenance, Airman John Steinbacher would begin his 26 years in the Air Force assessing and rebuilding aircraft damaged in Vietnam. What would it take to rebuild this thing? You name it, we did it all. Steinbacher was trained as an initial support team member for F-111As, aircraft that would be used in the Air Force's largest heavy bomber operation since World War II. The 428, 429th, and 430th F-4 groups, we deployed to Takli Airport Air Base, Thailand, and we started and engaged in Linebacker 2. Steinbacher says Operation Linebacker 2, also known as the Christmas bombings, was the result of peace talks stalling in December 1972. It was saturation bombing to the maximum. We did them around the clock for three, four weeks and got their attention. And they came back to the peace talks. We did our job and we went home. For years after Vietnam, Steinbacher would serve as an air training instructor. He was eventually stationed at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, where a career changing move would take flight. The uh, chief master sergeant that was in charge of maintenance and told my chief that he had a job for me. You're the guy I want because you got moxie. I haven't found what that means yet. <laughs> Steinbacher becoming a superintendent for the C-5A modification project. The C-5A, the largest Air Force transport aircraft at the time. They literally cut the wings off of the C-5s, put new wings on, and a rebuilt center section. Just before the last plane was to be fully modified, Steinbacher says a devastating thunderstorm caused disaster, quite literally, to strike. And within the next five minutes, all hell broke loose. Lightning struck the airplane, blew up the left wing. For about six weeks, we had everybody and their brother looking at the airplane. After the manufacturer deemed the plane should be scrapped, Steinbacher proved he could fix the damage against all odds. I had a two-star general tell my boss, that man just doesn't know the word can't. It's the only wing replacement done on a C-5A at base level in the history of the Air Force. And you did it. Well, I did. Team did. Yeah. It was just, like I said, I found a way. You know, you just find a way. Steinbacher's moxie would take him to SAC headquarters. There he would participate in a number of special projects before retiring in 1995. And the tradition carries on. Steinbacher's granddaughter is attending the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where she's also an ROTC squad leader. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Chief Master Sergeant John Steinbacher. Chief, thank you so much for your service to our country. Thank you, sir. Uh, with this check, I'd like to donate it to the Honor Flight folks here in Wichita, and uh, we greatly appreciate it, and they're great veterans. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.